Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and, ooh, what's this? S Barrel Booty Socialized Loot. Open one of every type of instanced per player loot container in the world. Oh, that's neat. Is that what that is? Uh, welcome to episode four of Direwolf20's, I hear spiders, Enigmatica Let's Play series. I'm, uh, I'm exploring this little cool place that I found here. I'm hearing a lot of spiders. You think they're underground here? This is a staircase to nowhere, apparently, which is cool. Good times, good times. Uh, was there anything good in this chest that I would want? Mana gems, meh. Found with an arcane ore, they're, they're kind of meh. Pumpkin and melon seeds? I mean, maybe. I don't know if I have those. I'm assuming I have those. Not 100% sure. Um, yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Uh, just checking out this place. I haven't, I haven't fully explored it. I may or may not. We'll see. Um, just kind of peeking around in this, in this nifty little, it's like a jungly kind of cavey kind of place, and it's very neat. And it's very neat. Uh, I came down to do a little bit of mining before the episode started and stumbled across this place. So I figured I would, uh, show you guys on camera here. Is this, this is not natural world gen, this is clearly some kind of underground-y kind of modded world gen thing going on. But it's pretty cool. And as you can see, my inventory is quite full from a bit of mining that I've been doing. Not a ton, but enough. Uh, one of the main things I wanted to get was more Osmium so I could finish out my Osmium armor set. And I think I'm pretty pretty good on that. So I'm going to head back to my base. But I just wanted to show you guys this because I thought it was neat. Hopefully you also thought it was neat because that's what's up. Pretty cool, right? I like it. It's really neat. It's, it's, it's cool looking. Right? There's like a nice, nice little ravine here. Um, as you can see, my, my mining uh, gadget is pretty out of power right now because I've been doing so much mining. I also made sure to grab a lot of andesite. Uh, andesite was originally on my filter list, and I've since um, I have removed it. I just put it back because uh, we're going to need some andesite today for some of the create work we want to do. Last episode, I decided that I want to go heavy on create, at least early on in this series. So my plan... Uh, as it were, is to, here's my exit, um, use create for our initial approach to or doubling slash tripling. Uh, it's going to be, because you know, when you use create, it's uh, it's it's chance based. So you're not always going to get 2x, you're not always going to get 3x, but you have a pretty good chance of getting somewhere between two to three times, um, which is cool. So that's the plan. So that's what we're going to work on today is getting the initial setup of create going so that we can get uh, up and running with it. And and in addition to that plan, uh, let's see, I'm gonna put away some stuff. I want you and a site to go in here because that sounds cool. Um, I'm gonna put my, this stuff away, osmium chunks. Yeah, I wanna smelt up a bit of the osmium. 16 ought to be good for now. And then any any more gems besides this coal? Your miscellaneous junk, your mob drops, and you can be plants, and you can also be plants, and that looks pretty good to me. Sweet. And then uh, your marble raw from chisel. Oh, the chisel mod's back. Sweet. Look at it all. It's back. I think they just updated actually, like very, very recently, which I'm very excited about, as you can tell, because yay, chisel. Um, so the plan that I have then is to do something out here, uh, somewhere. I'd like I'd like it to be a nice looking kind of structure, right? I want to do something that's gonna look good, but I don't know how much space I need. So I'm probably gonna start with building. Um the, the the contraptions and then maybe build a building around the contraptions. Does that sound cool? Because the worst thing I could do is build a building and then realize I didn't have enough space or too much space, right? I built like this giant building and I use only a corner of it. That would be stupid, but also very dire-like. So I'm trying. I'm going to try. We'll see how it goes uh, to make it cool, right? Uh, so you're nice and filled up. Thank you, Mining Gadget. Let's get to work. All right. So one thing I know we're going to need is kelp. Because uh, we're going to want dried kelp uh, to make our conveyor belts, right? Dried kelp equals conveyor belts. Uh, we're going to need to get kelp. Uh, we can botany pot this, or we can look at, you know, some other approaches to it. But botany pots is probably your simplest uh, approach to kind of getting the ball rolling. We'll see. We'll see uh, what we want to do with kelp. I wonder if there's like a create kelp farm. You would think, because you need kelp in a significant way in create, right? So create kelp farms should maybe be a thing. 
So we're going to have to look around under the water here for kelp. So, uh, you know, maybe I'll find it. Wasn't there, if we look at the map, if we follow this out, we'll, we'll head into some ocean. It looks like there's some warm ocean over here. So let's consider the potential that that's a thing, right? Now, are you going to be the kind of fish I can eat, Mr. Carp or Bluegill? I'm assuming, I, I've noticed that most of the ones that when you kill them and they drop um, the Tobiko stuff, they can't be, they can be eaten raw. But they can't be smelted into, you know, cooked kind of food. But anyway, we're heading out this way looking for kelp. That's the plan, at least. Kelp. And hopefully, if there's not kelp in this normal ocean, there'll be some in the warm water, maybe? Not 100% sure. All right, guys, we are back, and I found myself some kelp. All the kelp, please. This is where a magnet will help. Also, it's getting dark out, which is probably not super ideal. So give me a bunch of the kelp here. There's also seaweed, which very much looks like kelp, by the way. Um, so they, they look very similar. The seaweed is from the sushi mod, which yay for sushi mod, by the way. So is that enough kelp? I would say probably enough for now, right? Like, I'm gonna go automate this and, you know, have a bunch of it. So, kelp grows pretty fast, right? I think so. We're gonna see. Part of me wants to, like, automate with create the kelp. And I would imagine there's a way to do it. I mean, I'm sure there's a way to do it. Um, you know, probably the, the, the create, kind of like the same as the create farm, right? Now, the only problem is it's it's nighttime and I have a long run back to my base. So I'm going to kind of just beeline. Why is there an emu out here? What's up, buddy? Ow! What are you attacking me for, emu? Yeah, buddy. That's what's up. All right. Oh, there's shrimp? That's cool. There's a lot of different things. See, this is seaweed from Sushi Go Crafting. That's different from kelp. Just FYI. Oh, zombie. Alright, meet you back at the base, unless anything interesting happens on the way home. Which is a long run through zombie-infested territory, and creepers, and bad guys, and skeletons, and we'll be right back. Alright, it's a long run back, but I made it. So, with my goal of trying to do things with Create, I think I'm going to do my best, if I can, to... Wow, that's a lot of creepers just chilling outside my base. Woot! We've made it home. Huzzah! Alright, cool. I'm gonna try to do the kelp farm with Cree. I think is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take the first stack. Does this, does this, yeah, it does cook in a smoker. Nice. So I'm gonna cook that and uh, be prepared to make some andesite casing. So we're gonna need lots of andesite alloys. So let's get ourselves some iron nuggets and start crafting up some andesite alloy because we know we're going to want a healthy amount of that stuff right uh so sure why not 31 sounds like a good number why not and then in addition to that we're going to want um let's just get like a handful of things right so first things first let's get oh, we're going to want a lot of this actually let's get you and i'm going to get that looks good, yeah. And then some cogwheels. Gonna need some more buttons. That looks cool, yeah. Uh, some shafts. I'm just gonna get one stackish of them. That should be a good start. Um, and then some mechanical belts. We're gonna we're gonna wait. Well, that's not a bad number of kelp already, actually. That's a wow. You need a lot of kelp. You need a lot of kelp. That's something we'll recognize for sure. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Let's get... I'm going to sleep through the night here and then be ready to start building. Oh, I was just clearing out some terrain and I got the slingshot trinket. 
What indeed is that? Slingshot Trinket. Dealing more knockback when hitting enemies. Well, that's kind of cool. Nice. So it looks like, by the way, I can unlock extra trinket slots if I wanted to. Not sure that I want to, but I can. It's cool. It's cool. All right, I'm just kind of... Uh, what I've been doing is clearing out some terrain a little bit uh, with the anticipation of... Um, I'm probably going to flatten out this area a little bit. And then this, generally speaking, is where I think I'd like to have what I want to do. I'm thinking a building gadget is about, it's about time for a building gadget. Does that sound good? Building gadget done. Nice. And then a quick charger up. Whoop. And looking good. So I want to like flatten out some terrain in this general area if I can. And I think over here ish is where I'd like to pretty much have everything coming in right so that's roughly the plan cool looks good right dude vein mining this stuff is literally the best part of vein mining being able to clear out tall grass that quickly is absolutely just the best by far super cool what's up bees all right one of the first things we're going to want for sure is going to be some water wheels right so i think 8 16 24 that should be good Sweet. Three water wheels. I remember being along the lines of what we want for the first kind of uh, juncture in the create. Water wheels are kind of like your best early game thing. We'll get into a windmill eventually, obviously, but soon. All right. First things first, water wheels. And we're just going to, I'm, I'm, I'm basically just building this relatively organically. Okay. Um, so we're going to probably want here-ish. Man, I love this pick that I got, by the way. Can we talk about how amazing this pick is? Cool. All right. And then I'm going to want... Well, I mean, there's a pretty good water source here, so I don't think I need to go too hog wild on this. But... Does that look good? That feels pretty good. What do I need to do to see the the, the values? I need from create. Isn't there like a, some goggles or something that I want to get? Engineer's goggles? Yeah, we definitely want that. That looks cool. Create plus? Really? Oh, well, I guess that's <laughs> cool. You know what it is? It looks like it just it allows you to add them to other types of mostly vanilla helmets, but not other helmets. Not totally. <clears throat> All right, cool. Slot goggles. So are those hard to make? No, I just need a gold plate, which we'll make in a minute. So that's not a big deal. I'm probably also going to want my wrench, too, from Gree. Ah, uh, that would be this guy. He also needs gold plates. All right, cool. So that gets the ball rolling on that stuff. And then we can add our shafts which look good here, boop, 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 and that looks cool. All right, so the first thing we want to get is the mechanical press, right? Uh, and that's going to give me the gold stuff that I need, yeah? I love this pondering thing, by the way. Have we have we discussed this yet in the series about how amazing this is? It's, it's literally the best. How great is that? Literally just any create thing that you're curious about, you hold W and it shows you like how it works and gives you some ideas about how to use it. It's so cool. It's so cool. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna make one of these, right? So I'm gonna make a depot and I'm gonna make the press. So let's see, do I have the stuff for that? Uh, I'm gonna need some andesite casings. And then we're gonna want 
a block of iron for the Mega Hawk Press bit. And then the depot, for now, eventually we'll wind up using, um, you know, something a little less bananas-y. Uh, we'll so something a little bit more automatable. But for now, this will work, right? Now, this is a high stressor, so we don't want this moving too fast. Uh, but we probably want it moving a little bit fast. So let's do this. Oh, wow, that's, that's new. That little fade-in thing, that's new, isn't it? Oh, that's neat. That's neat. And that's going to be a faster spin, right? So then I can put the mechanical press here. We can put the depot underneath it. And then if I were to place, for example, an iron... Well, I don't want all five iron on there. But yes, that's the gist. Looks like it's working. Nice. So I put one iron ingot on there. It's going to, boom, stamp it into the iron plates. Perfect. Now I want to get the goggles and the wrench going so that I can actually feel comfortable about me doing this the right way. So I need a gold plate. So we're just going to need a bit of gold. All right, so in total, I needed four gold. Yes? Sweet. Well, okay, that's a thing. <laughs> Does it only really make one at a time? Because it lets me put the whole set of three on there, but it looks like... Okay. Now will it stamp again? Yes. Okay, that's cool. Sweet. And now it's three. And now it's not going to stamp anymore? Perfect. All right, let's get the goggles. The main reason I want the goggles is I want to make sure the water wheel is optimal. Um, I'm bad at water wheels for some reason. I'm just never good at them. Uh, so goggles first. So that's just going to be some glass and some gold plating, right? I might actually need to find more sand. I don't know if we have enough sand. Can you turn into sand easily? I'm assuming not. Yeah, no, he doesn't look like he does. He can smelt into smooth. Yeah, I don't think I can easily cut you into sand or something. So... Back in a minute. Oh, well, is this sand? This is arid sand. Sure. Works for me. I just need a little bit, obviously. Not a ton. Enough for glasses. I was smelting up more iron because that sounded like a good idea. All right. So now I can get my engineer's goggles, which looks good. I'm going to, I think there's a bobble slot for them. Yes, perfect. That's cool. Uh, probably curios, right? That's technically what these are, curios. Curios is what they are. Uh, yeah, bobbles. Bobbles slash curios. Cool. Uh, and then uh, we need a stick and a cog wheel. That shouldn't be a problem. I can make my wrench easy peasy. Nice. Now, when we go look at the wheels over here, we should have a good idea of like, the this, this stress generation and all that. So you are going to tell me this information, right? 192 SU stress units at current speed. So let me just see if there's tweaks I can make to this stuff. Just to see. Yeah, now that's not going to push that way. But if I wanted it to, I could do something like... Ish? Or no. It doesn't seem to like that I did that. Yeah, no, it, it knocked those two things out. So yeah, no, it doesn't, doesn't appreciate that at all. So that's 160 stress units at the current speed. I'm just tweaking it to see if I can make it a little bit faster. Let me just try this. I'm wondering if it was being funky because of the, uh, because it was getting hit from both sides kind of deal. See, that's 192 as well. That's not making a difference, right? You know what I need is a sleeping bag. Yeah, white sleeping bag. Just needs three wool. I might have enough. Uh, I, I don't think I've seen any sheep yet, right? But I might have enough string for that, maybe. We'll find out. Uh, yeah, 
I can do that. I can absolutely make a sleeping bag. Sweet. So now if I'm out and about in the world, I can just use that without any kind of concern. So if I do something like this, are you faster now? Yes, 256. Cool. Yes, perfect. That's what I wanted to see. I knew I could speed it up a little bit. You just need to get it, you know, to the point where it's doing what you want it to do. So I needed it, by placing the blocks here, the water is touching that bottom corner a little bit better. That's cool. So now just toying a little bit more. Still 256. Okay, not making a big difference there. Fair enough, though. 256 is good enough for me. That's a good start. So just FYI, moving this forward again so that the water blocks are directly on top did not affect the rotational speed. So I'm just kind of trying to make this look nice. Does it look nice? I think it looks a little bit nice, right? I mean, I don't need these. But it's like a little self-contained water wheel now. It looks a little bit nicer, I think, than just having it wide open. Uh, and with that, I can then uh, climb up to the top here and put like a little bit of a roof on this thing. Yeah. So now we've got like a little self-contained uh, structure that's doing the 256 stress units, and that's pretty sweet. Oh, hey, there's a whole create book chapter thingy. I should look at this. <laughs> For example, I could have gotten a free wrench. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, my bad. Crafting, modular contraptions, rotational force. Oh, and I could have gotten free engineer's goggles. Look at that. Look at that. My bad. So windmill, water wheel requires windmill? That seems backwards. My opinion, that seems backwards. So I'm thinking one of the first things we're going to want to set up is the mechanical harvester that I'm going to want to make sure that we can kind of automate the creation of the uh, kelp. Does that sound cool? I think that's a good plan, right? Uh, automating that will probably be huge. Uh, so let's look into doing that. Uh, first okay. things first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly use what I have currently set up to test a proof of concept, and then I'm going to build a proper kelp farm that should be kind of neat, I think. We're going to try it out. Let's see how it works out. Ready? So first things first, we're going to need to get some resources that are uh, currently not something I have a ton of, but I should be able to pull this off. So I'm going to get some of you, and I'm going to take this lime flower, which will be nice. And if I do this, and then cheers, you're like, why are you doing mystical flowers, dire wolf? What's up with that? I'll show you in a second. I promise. I promise this is going somewhere. Your Honor, if I can... If I can be allowed to continue, I promise I'm going somewhere with this. Cool. Beautiful. Okay, now that I'm gonna take and we're going to get about eight of them, should be enough. I think ish good uh, wood, duh, 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 duh. Uh, and then you with one of these okay cool now I don't know that I need these extra engineer goggles and wrench so I'm just gonna put them away in the junk but I, it doesn't hurt to have an extra set I guess probably and you lime dye are great and when I combine you with some wheat and three buckets of water, okay, U plus U equals slime balls. Huzzah! How great is that? Huh? Not bad. Not a little bad trick. Not bad at all. Do we have tiny coal? I guess not. Oh well, not a big deal. No, not gonna lose sleep over it. And then that is how I'm going to get the slime balls I need for super glue. Cool? Cool. 
All right, so that'll be our first super glue. Nice. All right, cool. Uh, now what I was gonna do is have a create based chest. I'm thinking I want that probably over here-ish. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Um, and, and again, this whole area is gonna expand into a bunch of create based stuff and then I'm gonna build a building around it. So some of the excess create things that I'm gonna have can go in here for now and that should be good. So I'm gonna start small. I'm just gonna get a couple linear chassis uh, one set of these, that should be good. Uh, sticky mechanical piston? Yeah, we're probably gonna want that. So it's gonna be you, and then you. That should be cool. Uh, and then we're gonna want some mechanical harvesters. We're gonna need more iron plates and more andesite alloys. For sure. For sure, more andesite alloys. No shock there. We knew we were gonna need them a bit. 32 sounds like a good number to me. Right, and then just some more iron plates, not a problem. How about we're gonna do three of those? So how about six iron plates? So note that at the current speed, this has 256 stress units. Um, so that means that's all the stress units we have, right? <laughs> Sorry, we'll be fine. It's all good, we'll be fine. Um, why don't I make a crafting table for out here? There's a couple things I'm thinking about doing to improve some stuff, but we'll get to that in, in due time. In due time, sir. So one more batch of those, two more batches of these, and then we should be good for this to work, right? So that should be cool. So let's be prepared. All right, so let's just try setting up a real quick little system to do this, right? Uh, I might want a clutch as well as a gear shift. No, I'll probably just want the gear shift, should be fine. So what I'm gonna want is some shafts coming out here, and then I'm going to want basically a sticky piston, like so, right? And then we're gonna want some linear chassis Okay, and then we're gonna want an extension pole. And we're gonna want a gear shift. Like that. Does that work? Now if I give you a redstone signal, which I don't have the cobblestone for. All right, got some levers, so let's see. Am I right in thinking that this will do this, and then this will do this? Perfect. Now I forget if I need to do the sticky glue for this, so we're gonna find out. Actually, yeah, no, we don't have to, so that's perfect. All right, next what I wanna test real quick, and again, very temporary. Let's get, um, I think I want some water here. Does that work? Yes. All right, now let's see if we, cause you need, you know, water up here too, right? Is that cool? Now what's gonna happen when I move you through the water? That's my question. Eh, not a great situation. I mean, we can solve that crisis, right? Not a huge, not a huge problem per se. <clears throat> That looks pretty good. Okay, and let's get another piston pole here because I want to I want to understand what's going to happen. This is why I'm proof of concepting this because I want to understand what's going to happen with the water when I do what I'm about to do. Now this might need to be one set higher, and we'll figure that out, right? Um, but for now. Yeah, see, it, it's actually removing the water there. But that won't be a problem if we actually make it up here, right? Water rules. 
being all confusing. Is that all still water now? I think so. So now if I lever you, that's okay. And that's cool. Okay, so I'm thinking now if we plant some stuff there, let's see how it works out. So what's cool is it looks like I can do this. All right, so I like that. Now, if I were to have a chest on the back here, I'm just kind of, like I said, proof of concepting this a little bit. And we do this. Did you get things? No. <laughs> Why not, actually? Do these not harvest kelp? That might be the case, actually. That might be the case. All right, so I noticed this thing's not moving. So let's use some glue. Now will you move? Yes, that will probably work better now. So step one, let's test this out. Gonna grow the kelp. My main concern is, so two things I'm testing. One, will the harvester pick up the kelp? Number two, will the harvester pick up the second level of kelp? Because it's there's three levels here, right? Like one, two, three, right? The, the harvesters are going on level two, but there's also kelp on the third level. So will the harvesters pick those up? And also, I'm hearing zombies under here, and I'm not loving that. I kind of like lit this area up so that this wouldn't happen. And they're already being annoying. So let's test and see what happens now, right? So the six kelp, got it, got it. See what happened? So the six kelp that the harvesters touched were broken and put into the chest, the top six did not. So whatever we do, we want to use the harvesters to chop the top level of the kelp. We don't want um, the harvesters, we don't want to have a third level of kelp above it. They won't get that. Cool? So that was kind of our proof of concept. So what I'm going to do is wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next episode. And then, where's water spilling out from here, actually? I don't know. Where is water spilling out from here? Is it is it leaking out somewhere? I thought I had to do pretty well. Oh, I see. Got it. Okay. Doesn't matter. This was all proof of concept -y, right? But we get the idea. We get the idea. Perfect. Okay. We'll come back next episode. We'll make this properly. Okay. And um, what I want to do is have it fully automated so that the kelp is being harvested and... And, this is huge, right? Um, I want to have it smelted and processed into dry kelp. So we'll set that all up next episode, all with Create. I want to have a nice kelp farm ready to go. All right, for now, Dull20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.